Yeah. Hey, everybody. So when I say the word holidays, what comes to mind? I want to talk to you about that because I think it's a little different for everybody. And um, you, in, if your first thought is, yay, I can't wait for the holidays, or if your first thought is, oh, no, the holidays, you're going to want to listen to this. Hi, I'm Ricky Heller from rickyheller.com, and I help people on restricted diets learn to love their food again so they can lose their symptoms and get their lives back. And um, for most people, uh, you know, if you ask that question, you're going to have people who think, yippee, holidays. And this year may be a little bit different, but yippee, holidays, or I can't wait to spend time with people that I only get to see this time of year, or maybe um, what about time off work or something like that. So there are all kinds of good things. But for people with restricted diets, more often than not, unfortunately, the one of the first thoughts might be something like, oh, no, all of this holiday food, and will I be able to find something safe to eat? Or, oh, no, what's going to happen when I go to my cousin's house and she makes that trifle every year that she wants me to have? And how can I say no to her, right? Or maybe, um, oh, no, I, you know, I'm not going to enjoy myself if all I'm thinking about is how I can't have all the foods on the table, and so on and so on. And what often happens, or what I would say far too often happens, is the thought becomes, well, you know, when am I next going to see these people? When am I going to have a chance to eat this food again? It's the holidays. It's once a year. And I am just going to enjoy myself. I, why not enjoy myself? So. I want to tell you a little story about what happened to me related to this concept, because when I was first, um, actually, I wasn't even yet diagnosed specifically with, with Candida, which is um, the diet I've been following for 20 years. And those of you who know about Candida, it's a very restrictive diet, but you also get a lot of symptoms. I had been having some kind of digestive symptoms, and this was just when I was sort of looking into it way back when, but I was trying not to eat foods that I thought would upset my stomach. And one of the things that I knew for sure was regular wheat. I got bloated and gassy and it was just uncomfortable. And so I had spent a long time at home sourcing out at the time, spelt flour and kamut flour. So these are not even gluten free. They're just like lower levels of wheat. And I, I had been making all these recipes. And then um, some friends of ours that we hadn't seen in quite some time suggested that we go out to dinner. And I think it actually was around holiday time. And they, they said, let's get together. So we went to this favorite Italian restaurant of ours. And one of my favorite forms of pasta is gnocchi. And I hadn't had it in a long time because certainly way back then there was no such thing as gluten-free gnocchi. I have since found some, which is amazing. But I just thought those exact thoughts to myself. I thought, we don't see these people that often. This is a special occasion. I deserve to enjoy myself. I am going to have that gnocchi. And what happened was, I guess the reaction, because I hadn't been eating it in a while, was stronger than it normally would have been. And it was almost like I felt like someone had taken a hose and stuck it into my stomach and just inflated it, right? And it was like a beach ball. I literally had to undo my pants under the table because I was so bloated and gassiness and I was worried that everybody could hear the gurgling and I started getting cramps and I literally we sat there for about three hours because we hadn't seen them in a long time I cannot remember a single thing we spoke about all I could focus on was how uncomfortable I was and sort of squirming under the table and trying to get comfortable and I didn't finish my plate of food because I was already having reactions it was the most uncomfortable evening and I basically lost the evening. And so that's just something that I would want you to think about when you think to yourself, I've deprived myself for so long. I love these foods. I miss these foods. I deserve to enjoy my holidays. Just ask yourself, is that really enjoyment, right? 
sitting with gassiness and bloating, or for you, it might be a rash that blossoms when you eat something that you know your body doesn't like, or it might be overwhelming lethargy the next day and you're so fatigued that you can't go and do the things with the rest of the family and friends around the holiday activities, or it might be sinus infections, whatever it is for you. If you are then spending the next few days nursing your symptoms because of that thing you ate, that is not enjoyment, that is not enjoying yourself, and that is not something you deserve. So I think it's really important that we are aware in the moment because what happens is we're overtaken by the desire to eat that food and it the brain can override our better judgment. But if you think ahead to the purpose, why you want to eat it, because you want to enjoy yourself, then that is not enjoying yourself, right? And the fact is that there are so many other delicious alternatives available now, things that you can buy and things that you can make for the holidays that are so delicious, you won't be missing out on anything. And you can be the person who brings that to the party and everybody else is going to want to eat the dish that you brought because it's so delicious. So I'm actually talking about this tonight in our free workshop, Healthy Through the Holidays, where we're going to look at all things food related for the holidays. We've been having an amazing time in this group talking about all kinds of ideas related to how our thoughts affect our behavior and the mindset that will set you up for success so that you will not slip up before the end of the holidays, that you can get right through it and really enjoy yourself for the the full duration of the season. So if that's something that interests you, it is not too late to join us. We're going to be continuing tonight, tomorrow night, and Friday at 8 p.m. So please do come and join us. You can sign up at rickyheller.com forward slash holidays, and you will have access to everything we've done so far, all of the information, the videos, and everything, and everything that we do going forward. And as I said, tonight is the topic around holiday foods, and just food in general on a restricted diet, how can you make this holiday one that you actually do enjoy? Because you deserve not only to enjoy the holidays, but to enjoy them from a place of health. All right, everybody, I hope that was helpful. Please do leave me some comments if you have anything else you'd like to ask or, or any comments about what I was talking about. We would love to hear your experiences around this and hope to see you in the workshop. All right, everybody, take care.